In day five of the United Auto Workers strike against the big three American automakers, negotiations are progressing, but slowly. Last Friday, the UAW, which represents nearly 150,000 American auto workers, launched a strike against General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis, the parent company that makes Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep vehicles. A livable wage for everybody that works inside these plants. In a video to his members, the president of the union warning that they're ready to expand their strike by noon on Friday if they don't make substantial progress in talks with the big three car makers. We're going to keep hitting the company where we need to when we need to. And we're not going to keep waiting around forever while they drag this out. The union is doing what's called a stand-up strike, where they strategically target some plants. The union is demanding a 40% pay increase over four years, which they claim would match the raise received by the big three CEOs over the same time period. They also want pensions for younger workers and a four-day work week. I'm hoping to achieve a good contract, better wages. But Ford's CEO says they can't afford everything the union is asking for. A line in the sand is, if we can't invest in electric vehicles or future, what is the, what is the win here if we can't invest for the future? Experts say a four-week strike involving all UAW workers would urge dealerships to end incentives and rebates, and new car prices, which had been falling, would begin to rise again. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.